Well, looking ahead on Saturday, Nevada will have a view of a ring of fire solar eclipse. It is the first eclipse since 2021, but it will likely have an impact on Nevada's energy grid. Kelsey McFarland spoke with MV Energy about what to expect and how they're preparing for all of this. Kelsey. Well, Trisha, this will be pretty cool. First, I wanted to show you the path of the eclipse. Then we can dive into what all of this means for keeping our lights on. So this picture is from NASA and it shows this eclipse will be best viewed through Oregon all the way through northern Nevada. You can see specifically over Elko going down through Utah, New Mexico and Texas. Now, the reason this year's eclipse is called Ring of Fire is because as the moon, sun and earth line up in orbit, the moon will appear smaller than the sun, allowing a ring of the sun's light to remain visible. NASA says this eclipse will be best viewed in Nevada around 924 to 926 Saturday morning, but the lack of sunshine will cause an 80 to 85% drop in solar energy output right here in Southern Nevada with an even greater impact in Northern Nevada. Envy Energy says they have strategies to make up for that loss in solar. So we do have a sufficient amount of capacity and flexibility in our resource portfolio with our natural gas generating uh, unit. So I'm told the eclipse likely won't last long enough to impact our rates and customers should not expect any interruption of service, including those residents with solar panels. And a reminder to never look directly at a solar eclipse without the proper eye protection. It could instantly cause severe eye injury. Reporting live in studio, I'm Kelsey McFarland.